So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I never thought I would play a game of this high caliber up to this scale either. I genuinely never thought when I first played this game, I was like, oh my god, this game is amazing. But at the same time, it's like, oh my god, this is so difficult. But it's flipping awesome. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is my first ever Dark Souls game. It's made by the same developers that made the other Dark Souls games. Elden Ring is literally another version of Dark Souls. But at the same time, this game is so challenging. It pushes you to the limit at the same time. I, I just don't know how to describe it. So um, I'm just going to say this right now. I am complete trash at Dark Souls games. I'll be honest. I am trash when it comes to these kind of games. But when I heard so many good things about Elden Ring, I was like, you know what? Since all my friends are having fun with it, a lot of people on the internet are saying it's pretty good. I decided to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get Elden Ring and I'm going to give it a try and see how it is for myself. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's not my cup of tea when it comes to Dark Souls. But if I were to be honest, I still think it's a pretty awesome game. Like, I genuinely enjoy this game from time to time. I will be completely honest. Some of the bosses are a complete pain in the ass. But that's the whole point of this game game is to push you to your limit so you can challenge yourself to see if you can beat it you can get stuck on the boss for days months maybe years at most i personally i've been stuck on a boss for a few hours and i was able to overcome it i think the most time it took for me to take on a boss or i think the the quickest i ever beat a boss was maybe within six attempts the longest attempt i think i it took for me to be a boss was maybe 30 at most. And yes, I have been writing this stuff down based on how many times I died because I know this is a challenging ass game. <laughs> but um, I'm going to be honest. I did not think a game of this high caliber that's also challenging could also be this much fun. I mean, especially because they threw in that open world experience. I'm going to be completely honest. It's still pretty damn fun, even though it's very challenging at times, and it feels like you're you're very, very squishy, which is the whole point. I still like that challenge. It's definitely a fun game that I would like to come back to from time to time. Now, this is what I told myself when I bought the game. I am not looking forward to complete this game. I am just looking for a game to play because of all the other crappy games out there. And I'm just like, you know what? I heard so many good things about Elden Ring. I'm going to give it a try. I know it's a Dark Souls game and there's no way I'm going to complete it. So, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm just going to enjoy it as in my own way. I'm going to try to get as much fun out of it as I can. And surprisingly, I've been reaching much higher expectations than I thought I would with the amount of time I put into this game and the story itself it's pretty dang good honestly and it's just like everything from id software that they have done is just such a good job I would argue to say that in my opinion Elden Ring could possibly be one of the best games of the year it could definitely win game of the year award in my opinion for best action adventure game and I thought the Breath of the Wild was one of the best action adventure games but to be completely honest, I would still prefer The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in my opinion. That, But that's just me, just because I, I grew up with Zelda games. But honestly, Elden Ring for me, it's definitely up there for best exploration games. Because it does have those little camps that you can explore. And trust me, th there are literally basic enemies that will stomp you. If you see a little wolf, it's going to stomp you. If you see a little mosquito, yes, I'm serious, it's going to stomp you. A basic enemy boss in the tutorial, and it's going to stomp you if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing, you're going to barely survive, like my dumbass did. I mean, seriously, I don't know how I survived the tutorial boss. I just swung and hoped for the best.
No, but with all seriousness, I, I am genuinely enjoying this game. And I did tell myself, I'm not looking forward to completing this game. I don't want to complete this game. I just want to get as much enjoyment and as much value out of this game as I can. Because I, I'm just looking for a good game to play that's not been affected by the modern gaming trend. You know, like Battlefield 2042, for example. Literally, DICE and EA are still getting slapped in the face every single time. Like, there are no good headlines about that game at this point. But I digress. Anyway, um, I do want to say, if you guys are looking for a good game to play, I would recommend Elden Ring. But if you're not really a fan of Dark Souls games like myself, I would recommend just stepping away from this game. Because I don't want people getting upset and angry. Because this is a rage game at its most. And I played a lot of rage games in my lifetime. A couple of good ones, I think Crash Bandicoot, I mean, I don't know if some people would consider that a rage game. I would personally. I played Cuphead, I mean, literally a very challenging game, but I personally love the cartoony style in that game. And I did beat the game of Cuphead on the hardest difficulty. And, of course, I do want to say, if you're Dark Souls, I do want to say Dark Souls, even though I have not beaten this game. I'm when I'm, I meant to say Elden Ring. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Dark Souls. I meant to say Elden Ring. But um yeah. I guess I had the Dark Souls word in my head when I said Elden Ring. <laughs> God, that's embarrassing. But um anyway, um if you're looking for a good game to play, I would recommend playing Elden Ring. This is actually a fantastic game. There's multiplayer that you can play with your friends. You can do player versus player. Personally, I have not tried out multiplayer. I, I I rather play Elden Ring as a single player experience, but that's just my opinion. But um, there's also a ton of other customization and variety in this game that it has to offer, and I genuinely like that. That even though I'm still starting out in this game, I still genuinely think that this is a fantastic game, and I would argue to say that this is one of the best games of all time. But um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just thought I'd make this video, and I thought I'd give my thoughts and opinions on Elden Ring so far, because I heard a lot of controversy about this game, and a lot of people are complaining that they, they're saying that this game needs an easy mode, because it's so hard. Well, I'm going to end that debacle right now. No, there's not going to be an easy mode. I would rather this game be as difficult as possible, because that's the whole point about these kind of Dark Souls games. They're not meant to be easy. They're meant to be difficult. And if anyone says that this game needs an easy mode, I mean, I ha I'm not trying to be that guy, but all I'm going to say is I would try to avoid this game if I were you because there's no way in hell that this game is going to get an easy mode. But if you're looking for an easy mode, you can play multiplayer co-op with your friends. That's probably the only easy mode you're going to get. Everything else, good luck. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, um, I do recommend anyone who's looking for a good game to play, give Elden Ring a try. Personally, I, I'm not a really big fan of this these kind of types of games, but I do enjoy Elden Ring so far, so if you guys want, maybe I'll do an honest review. I'm just going to need to get some more footage for it, but um, if you guys want, I will make an honest review, but I'm going to have to get my Dragon Ball Fighters review out first, because I've been procrastinating on that long enough, so I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, you guys, uh, with this being said, thank you for watching, and thank you for listening, and until next time, I'm enjoying Elden Ring, and I'm having a lot of fun with this game, and I'll see you all later.